I mean, can I just say how amazing is today's music? I mean, I just have to say something. It made me feel like I was at home watching a beautiful Disney movie. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Chatty. Who, who, who did I see say my name? Chatty Patty Doll. Hello to you. Hey, Maureen Anderson. We're all here with you. Hey, Bradley. Hey, Vaughn. Hey, uh, Bessie. What's up? How are you? How you guys doing today? You guys doing well? I really hope so. Hey, KJ, man, uh, 1994. Uh, all you guys, hope you're having a beautiful day. What's today? What's today's day? Today is Thursday, August 1st. I hope you're having a beautiful uh, Thursday. You know what I mean? Um, listen, here's my here's my question, because I, I, I know what was asked. But what is your favorite live action Disney movie? I want to know. I didn't see all the answers. So I want to see what you guys are saying. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Patsy. Okay, let's see. So some people like, oh, Cinderella. I, that's my favorite. Cinderella with Brandy. I agree. That is my favorite one. Impossible. Hey, Stacy. Beauty and the Beast. Someone says Beauty and the Beast. Starfire said Mary Poppins. DM also said Beauty and the Beast. Someone says Pirates of the Caribbean. You guys want to know something? I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I know. I know. Someone else said Aladdin. I love Aladdin. One of, someone said 101 Dalmatians. I mean, Mulan, Peter Pan, so many, so many good answers here. As you guys can see, there's so many Disney movies and these are just the, um, what do you call it? These, these, these are just the, the, the animated ones that, the, oh no, the live action ones. There's so many more animated ones and all that. Someone said Lady and the Tramp. Someone says Twitches. Oh, I remember Twitches. So many of them. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a few more and then we'll get going. Tangled, Cruella, Little Mermaid. What else? And last but not least, someone said Avatar. <gasps> wow. Well, listen, you guys know it's a Disney game and everybody knows Disney for their animation. But today we're exploring their live action movies in a special edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your what? Your phone. So listen, you guys, let your brain work some Disney magic as you play for today's grand prize. You guys want to see what it is? You want to see what it is? That right there is one thousand dollars and everybody who can correctly answer my 10 multiple choice trivia questions about live action disney movies will split it so in this game you earn one bonus sb for every single question you get right after question number one even if you've already been eliminated now if you win the game they're automatically added to your prize otherwise you're gonna have to claim them at the end of the game to keep them claim them to keep them now the first time you get a question wrong as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize, either using SB or with a free rejoin. Make sure to click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and you'll get some, re some free rejoins by watching videos that way too. Also, also, this is you guys' favorite part, one of them, right? Each game, we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. Here are Wednesday's winners. Shout out to all of you guys. All right. Everybody else. Keep on playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you. Now, listen, I have a lot to say today. But before we get to that, breathe in with me. One, two, three. Breathe in. Let it out. All right. Now. The comments are off to go fly a kite, which means we can get this game started without them. Here is question number one. Let's go. What is Mary Poppins' job? Actuary, nanny, or maid? What is Mary Poppins' job? Now, a practically, a practically perfect in every way woman who can use an actual cloud as a sofa can have any job she wants. But what Mary wants is to help families as a what? A nanny. Mary Poppins is a nanny. I think the majority of you guys knew that. 14,812 of you knew that she was a nanny. That is 98%. You guys said, um, I know Mary in her little umbrella. Okay, she did a lot with it. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you guys. You guys are starting strong. And let's keep it going. Moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here is question number two. In which Disney movie does Lindsay Lohan play identical twins? Herbie Goes Bananas, Hot Lead and Cold Feet, or The Parent Trap? Which movie does Lindsay Lohan play identical twins? Now, Hallie Parker and Annie James meet at a summer camp. 
discover their long lost twinsies and hatch a plot to reunite their parents in what? The Parent Trap. 14,579 of you guys got the one right and you knew that The Parent Trap was the correct answer. Honestly, this is probably my favorite one growing up actually. I watched it all the time and I could have sworn Lindsay Lohan was a twin until I realized she wasn't. Now, to the 3.9% of you guys who got it wrong, you guys all rejoined. As I see, 596 of you guys have rejoined, so we can keep it moving to question number three with one bonus SB. Which of the following Disney Parks attractions has not been adapted into a feature film? The Jungle Cruise, It's a Small World, or Pirates of the Caribbean? Which one has not been adapted into a feature film? Not on my watch. Now, Space Mountain, Tower of Terror, and even Club 33 are on the development slate for Disney. But they don't have any plans right now to bring It's a Small, Small World to the big screen, you guys. It's not happening anytime soon. 11,039 of you guys got the one right, and you knew that It's a Small World has not been adapted into a feature film. Just yet, you never know. Now that one, 74% of you guys got right. So that one kind of got you guys a little bit. Over 3,700 of you guys got that one wrong, but over 3,400 of you have rejoined. So you guys are doing well, all right? And listen, 3,300 for free. That's what I'm talking about. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here is question number four. Writer and director Steve Brill's hobby resulted in what Disney movie? The Mighty Ducks, McFarlane USA, or the rookie in what Disney movie? Now, Steve Brill enjoyed going to the local ice skating rink to kill time. And it was those visits that actually gave him the idea for what? The Mighty Ducks. Woo, the Mighty Ducks. 7,986 of you got that one right, but I gotta say, my heart hurts because this is the one that got you guys, all right? Over 42%, almost 6,000 of you guys got that one wrong, got that one wrong. So listen, I'm gonna give you like a good eight seconds to rejoin, all right? Because I believe in you, it's not too soon, like it's, no, it's not too early to keep going and it's too soon to give up, okay? So over 4,300 have rejoined, all right? You guys breathe in, breathe out, you need it. Moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB, here's question number five. Which pop star appeared in The Princess Diaries? Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, or Mandy Moore? Which pop star appeared in The Princess Diaries? Hmm. Now, pop stars randomly showing up in movies to perform one of their singles was a trend from the 1960s that was revived in the early 2000s, like Mandy Moore's appearance as Alana Thompson in The Princess Diaries. Mandy Moore is the correct answer. 10,378 of you guys showed up and showed out, okay? Because you knew the correct answer. That's 85% of you. And you know what? That's way better than the last question. So shout out to you guys. That's called progress. I love that. All right. Only 15% of you guys got that one wrong. And almost 900 have rejoined. So you're doing well. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question number six. Saving Mr. Banks is a Disney movie about the making of what other Disney movie? Uh, um, Swiss Family Robinson, sorry, Newsies or Mary Poppins. You guys almost said the wrong thing, but I caught myself. Whew. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> All right, so Tom Hanks steps into the shoes of his distant cousin, Walt Disney, in this movie about the process of Disney's creative team trying to bring Mary Poppins to the silver screen. Again, another question about the woman with the umbrella, the nanny. Mary Poppins is the correct answer. 7,756 of you guys got that one right, and you knew that it was Mary Poppins. Ah. Now, I will say that was a hard one for you because over 30% got it wrong. But again, 1,466 have rejoined so far. I'll give you a few more seconds because we only have a few more questions, all right? Four to be exact, and I want you to win. So let's move on to the next question with one bonus SB. Here is question number seven. According to D23, how many Disney movies has Kurt Russell made? Is it 8, 12, or 20? Is it 8, 12, or 20? How many Disney movies has Kurt Russell made? Now, Disney was a huge part of Kurt Russell's development. From first meeting Goldie Hawn during the one and only genuine original family band to the 12 movies that helped launch his career, 
12 is the correct answer. 7,396 of you guys got that one right. And you knew that Kurt Russell's been in 12 movies. All right. Kurt says, Disney and I are tight like ice. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's what he said. Shout out to all you guys who got that one right. Okay. 90% of you guys got the one wrong. Not that bad. You know, you guys are still doing well. Let's move on to the next question. Worth one bonus SB. Here is question number eight. Which of the following Disney films broke the record for the longest end credits? 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, or The Black Hole? The record for the longest end credits. Now, because it was so technically complicated to produce, it took a cast and crew of over 800 people to bring, drum roll please, Who Framed Roger Rabbit to life, and they all got credit as they all should 4,586 of you guys got that one right and you knew that who framed roger rabbit was the correct answer honestly i need to go and watch the end credits for that movie because i feel like credits for a movie are already too long you know what i mean but i'm glad i'm glad that everyone got what they needed to get moving on to the next question worth one bonus that's be here is question number nine we're getting there people which of the following Disney live action movies includes actors interacting with animation? The computer wore tennis shoes, secretariat, or bed knobs and broomsticks? Which one is it? Now, Eglantine Price takes in misplaced siblings during World War II who learn that she's a witch in training, leading to interactions with soccer playing animals and more in bed knobs and broomsticks. Yes, 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 you guys did what you needed to do. 4,953 of you guys have made it this far and are ready for our final question. But before we get to that quick reminder, everybody, there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge, the quick hostess version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you, you find it in the app. Both will get you SB Torch or Daily Goal. And listen, who doesn't like SB? You know what I mean? Also, whether it's a family gathering, special occasion, or just sharing with friends, delicious treats from Select Ice Cream are sure to make your summer even better. Add Select Ice Cream to your list and magic receipts. Then buy one eligible product at any store and get 100 SB back when you upload a photo of your receipt as proof of purchase. Buy two items on the same receipt and get 250 SB. Okay, check it out after the game because who doesn't love ice cream? I know I do. All right, final question. Worth one bonus says B. Are you guys ready for it? Okay, here we go. Question number 10. Let's get to it. In the original Pete's Dragon, what is the name of Pete's Dragon? Elliot, Percival, or Mr. Belvedere? What is the name of Pete's Dragon? So Pete is on the run from the Groggins and arrives in Passa Maquoddy Bane, where he makes new friends, but keeps the old because, you know, Elliot the Dragon is basically family to him. You guys heard exactly what I said. Elliot the Dragon, 4,496 of you guys knew that answer. And guess what, my friends? You are splitting our grand prize. Congratulations to all of you who are spending the grand prize today. Let me shout out some of the winners. Hey, Dak009, Tina Sivadon, Red Pill201, Thrathbone1, and J248, to name a few. You guys are all getting your prize in a form of points called SB, which you can redeem for PayPal Cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and really hundreds of other immaculate places. You guys, thank you so much for being here. You did it again. All right, you really did. Thank you for playing. My name is Deshola. Make sure you come back Monday for a whole new week of games. Enjoy your weekend. And listen, this has been Daily Trivia Live. Have a great evening, everybody. Bye.